BNF stands for, Bacus nor form. BNF uses a set of symbols, to describe the grammar rules, in a programming language. It is a subtopic of compiler construction. An alternative of BNF is, syntax diagram. Bacus nor form introduced by John Bacus and Peter Knorr, in 1960. BNF notation includes Angle brackets are used to enclose an item Double colon, equal to, separates an item from its definition Pipe sign between items indicates a choice And, semicolon shows the end of a rule Let's see a simple BNF example This example shows that, a variable could be a single letter or, a letter followed by a single digit According to definition of letter, it could be either a, b or c and, a digit could be either 1, 2, or 3. So, according to this BNF, a variable name a, a, a1, are correct. But, x, y, z or 9, 9 are not correct. Because x, y, z and 9 are not defined as letters or digit. BNF notation can be used for recursive definitions, where an item definition can refer to itself. For example, a variable name consisting of a single or any number of letters. So, according to this BNF, A, or AB or F, name are correct. But, A1 or 1, 2 are not correct. Let's see another comprehensive example to consolidate students' concept. This BNF shows that, an identifier may consist of a letter, or, a single letter, or many letter or, a single or many letters, followed by digit or digits. The meaning of letter is already defined as, capital or small letters from A to Z. Similarly, a digit may be any number from 0 to 9. It shows that, an identifier name must start with a letter followed by any number of letters or digits. So, A or XY or X1 are correct names, and, 1, 2, or 1, A, are incorrect. Thank you very much for watching my video. Do not forget to like, subscribe and share this video.